Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara's playing her games and in this video we are going over over 20 great fifth pocket knives or secondary knives. What is a fifth pocket knife? The fifth pocket knife is basically a knife that'll fit in your coin pocket of your jeans and a secondary is basically just a smaller knife that goes side to side with your full size knife. You use your full size knife for bigger things and maybe if you need to pull out a little knife for a little task or maybe it's just the, the job or whatever you're doing, a big knife isn't appropriate for, you have your secondary or your fifth pocket knife to do that with. So let's start this off with the CJRB Malaya. This knife was designed by Swags. And is a really cool little knife. G10 AARP M9 steel deep carry clip. Yeah, little tiny compact knife. Front flipper and thumb stud action. Great little knife. Next up, we have, this one's a little bit more expensive. The Medford Aris. This is in CPM D2, which is not regular D2. This is a powdered version of D2, which is better. Nice reverse flick. Great sounds from this thing. This thing has an amazing, like, chinking sound when it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. But it is a little compact, little chubby knife. Titanium. Great little knife. Next up, we have the Spyderco McB. <laughs> this is a little, this is definitely a little fifth pocket knife. Something you throw in your coin pocket and... It'd probably go good with a little lanyard on it. I used to have one on here, but yeah, very, very cool. Little compact knife. C CTS XHP steel and titanium, so it is in high-end materials. Very cool little knife. Next up, we have the Concept Goblin. And this is in titanium, an S35VN. Nice little clip. It is definitely a small knife, but you can get a full grip if you take advantage of this choil. Great action front flipper and a reverse or thumb flip. Ooh. <laughs> Let's do that again. We got front flipping action, reverse flicking action, and you can use your thumb as well. Now, some of these knives, we might even show a good full-size knife too, like... The Spyderco Techno 2. This knife is a solid little knife. And that's what this job, the job of this knife is definitely to be a secondary or fifth pocket. Now, a lot of times you're not going to carry in your fifth pocket. You might just carry in the same pocket as your big knife. But a great knife to go side to side with that knife is the Spyderco Slish buoy. You have a full-size knife here. They're the same designer, same steel, which is CTS XHP titanium scales they look a lot alike and both are fantastic knives the wire clip works really good just a really strong build of a knife next up we have the tucson oh man what was the number on this the 138 i think no, no, it's not the 138. I'll write down the number on the screen. This one is an M390 and is a Wong design. Great little knife. Just a regular flipper. Not just, but you can also reverse flick it if you can get your finger in there, and it works great. M390, beautiful carbon fiber. Titanium with beautiful milling. Very, very cool. Next up, we have the Spyderco Chaparral. Now, this one is, this is a very cool little knife. Talk about super duper, I uh, can't let that happen. Uh, <laughs> I normally get this thing pretty good, but I am under the camera. But this thing is a very, very slicey little blade in CTS XHP FRN. This one has titanium hardware, but it is aftermarket hardware. The wire clip works so good. It is such a little thin, little compact knife that just works really, really good. I love this little knife. And there, had to redeem myself with the flick. Next up we have, now this one is kind of a medium-sized knife. I mean, I don't know. It's a small knife for sure, but the Spyderco Brower. This is definitely a great secondary pick because, you know, maybe 
you don't like little tiny knives and this knife is a small knife but you get a full grip so it does have a small cutting length but a full grip because of this choil titanium and g10 and then the blade steel on this one is s30v great great knife love this little knife next up we have this is the ferrum forge mini arch bishop carbon fiber they also come in g10 for a little bit cheaper and then 9cr 18 mov steel reverse flicking action and you have a flipper and it works great nice deep carry clip the clip works so good it's inset and it's flat screws this is a solid little knife and you have the choil to choke up but it's a nice little compact secondary knife next up we have the Kaiser Yorkie. Now this is a Ray Laconico design. And ha this one has the stasified anal finish on it, which just looks beautiful. Great little knife. It is a compact little knife. S35VN. It has a spear point blade shape, which is super duper useful. Next up, we have the Wiimote. This is a compact little guy too. It is a Wii knife, so you know it's good quality. Great little blade shape. I would call it kind of a sheep's foot blade shape. Um, does have a lot of belly. It's almost all belly. Um, kind of a clip point. Nice jimping, great jimping. Nice thin blade stock. Little compact little knife. Titanium clip. Beautiful backspace. So check this backspace here. It looks like a piece of gold. Great little knife. Love the stone washing all over it. Just a beautiful little knife. And it works great as a secondary. Next up, we have the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. <laughs> now, this is a cool little compact knife because it's such a little knife, but it's so fidgety. I mean, the flipper tab just works good. And with mine, I can easily reverse fleck it. And these Sheepdogs work so good. Now, this, I guess, would be a great secondary, too. The full size sheepdog. The full size sheepdog. This one's in my carta. Now this one is in, I think VG10. Yeah, this one's in VG10, G10, and we did the the little modding work on the blade. Now this one's in BDZ1 or BD1N. Yeah, BD1N steel stone washed blade. Great full size knife. Now we have the, the Kaiser Mini Bag Letter. Now this knife, you know, some of these knives, you know, depending on what you do and where you're at, this might be a full-size knife for you, but they have a full-size version of this, which is a, a big, or, you know, regular size knife, meaning a full-size knife. I think it's around eight inches. This one's a compact little knife in 154CM. Nice and thin, very small in the pocket, meaning it doesn't take up hardly any room. It is a thumb stud action on phosphor bronze washers. Great snappy action, great liner, good access to the lock bar, cool little knife. Now, this one, the mini Sheepdog, love this knife. This is, in my opinion, one of the best secondary knives um, it's not going to have the best blade geometry, but it works. S30V, FRN, handles, access lock, very fidgety, very strong, very tough. And if you really want, and if you really wanted to, you could pull out the big dog. This is the full-size Griptilian. You can see I love that sheep's foot blade shape. Love the sound of it. Same material, same everything. Next one. Now, next up, we have the Kaiser Fire Ant. This is a compact little knife, and I used to have the Kaiser Rogue, which would be the big version of this, because this is a Dirk Pinkerton design, but I actually sold it. But this one's really cool, badass little knife. It's a, like oh, basically like a box cutter on steroids, titanium, S35VN. The action is really good. It is on phosphor bronze. I believe phosphor bronze and Teflon. It might be just phosphor bronze. But regardless, the action is really sweet. Great little compact titanium knife. Now, speaking of Dirk Pinkerton, we have the Concept 
Little Main Street. This one's in my Carter. There are different versions of it. They also have the G10 and the carbon fiber version. The carbon fiber is not real carbon fiber, but either way, there's multiple versions of this cool little knife. It is a compact little tiny knife. Now, Dirk Pinkerton happened to make a couple of these. Oh, yeah, this is in... 154 cm in micarta for this one, and it is a liner lock with a titanium clip. But Dirk Pinkerton also has his other one made by Kaiser, which is in also micarta. But the blade steel on this one is N690, which is basically it's very similar to 154 cm. The thumb stud action is really good on this one. This is a great fifth pocket knife. I mean, this is a, a great example of what a fifth pocket knife is. So awesome, awesome, awesome. The micarta is really nice. Deep carry clip with that's very easy to use, and it works really good. Next up, we have the Kershaw Launch 4. Now, mine, I sharpened a certain way. I wanted it to be basically a straight razor for work, and... It looks really good. It is an automatic. All the launch series are automatic, but it works great in the fifth pocket, great as a secondary. And like for those little tasks where you just cut a string, cut a package open, cut a box open, this works great. Now, it did used to have a shape just like this on this side. I shaved mine straight, like I said, like a razor, but very strong, very cool. Oh, the blade steel on this one is... The, I think most of the launch series are CPM 154, which is a powdered steel of 154 CM. Next up, we have the Kaiser Lieb. This thing has some of the most amazing flipper action for such a compact little knife. This one's in micarta. And the blade steel is N690. Great, great stainless steel. Very rust resistant and... Man, just a cool little knife. This is an awesome little knife. Next up, we were talking about the other goblin just a minute ago by concept. I don't know why I didn't bring forth the best goblin, which is a cool little razor. I mean, you have a full grip if you take advantage of this choil and a thumb spot right there. And this one's in beautiful carbon fiber and titanium. That's a titanium clip, titanium backspace. Their flipper action is amazing. Ceramic bearings. Very, very drop shutty, but I can also reverse flick it. Very, very cool. Now, next up, this is a really cool little tiny knife. Ooh, the Spectacle Dragonfly. This one happens to be in a San Mai, which is a Hat 40 steel. And... It is, this is just a cool little knife. I understand why so many people like these. I mean, it's just a compact little knife. You can fidget with it a little bit. It is a back lock, so it's not going to be as fast as, say, a frame lock or anything or a liner lock, but nice, comfortable back lock. And it just works, man. That, that, that little blade is so thin. And it's like a little razor. It just works great. Just enough belly. This is a great, great blade shape for a little tiny knife. Like this knife, the wire clip just basically just disappears in your pocket. And this one actually has wood. Now, we have just a couple more. Here is, these two are kind of bigger, but I'm going to consider them secondaries. So we have the Civivi Pintail, which has some of the most amazing action I mean, this thing is so fidgety, it's insane. But it is a little large to be a fifth pocket knife, but then again, I put some big knives in my fifth pocket, so this one definitely will be just fine. It's almost a full grip, but the, the flipper tab does kind of push me down a little bit. Super deep hollow grind. I mean, this hollow grind is so thin. This thing is a insanely good cutter. The sounds are really nice. The detent is perfect. I really like this knife. And deep carry clip, it works great. They come in a lot of different versions, too. They even have wood ones. They have G10, the carbon fiber. It's fake carbon fiber, but regardless. 
Next, the Civivi McKenna. This is one of the best and easiest front flippers. These come in so many different versions. They have brass and copper versions, super fidgety, deep carry clip, and this thing cuts like a beast. Very thin blade stock. It is a flat ground blade, but it's very thin with great geometry, and man, it just works so good. This is one of the better secondary knives i mean just because it works so good and you have like a three inch blade on this little compact knife so even though it's so compact and small it works so good and it's pretty non-threatening so you can pull it out you know do your cut and you know it's almost like a full-size knife in a little tiny package next up this one's a little bit more higher end we have the Wii Vapor. Titanium, beautiful carbon fiber. This thing is very thin behind the edge. Great blade shape for a secondary. You can take advantage of the choil. Very thin blade stock. The action is really nice. Now, in the beginning, I could not use this hole to flick. Now that mine's broken in, I can actually pretty easily. But like I said before, I could not. But the flipping action is a very very snappy very cool little knife these things are like 250 bucks though so. all right last but not least this guy is a little tiny guy the tucson ts35 fire ant i mean this thing is so tiny it has to be a fifth pocket knife i mean where else do you put this knife i mean it's just so tiny micro thin or micro small with a pretty thick little blade stock but it's going to be tough you're going to be able to one knuckle it and use your pointer finger to cut things open i mean clicky little detent it does actually have a little clip a lot of people would probably just take it off and you know throw it in a coin pocket but you can put a lanyard on it you know you can use it as a keychain knife but it's also an m390 look at that m390 the carbon fiber is well done very nice it plays with the light very easy very nice cool little knife now also a great little fifth pocket knife a great little fifth pocket knife would be just a victorian ox this one is the spartan but they come with all these little tools and who doesn't want one of these at least in a glove compartment a purse a po you know you can carry around in a pocket but these things are very 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 handy so i'm going to consider this one of the ultimate secondaries because it comes with so many options now i love you guys and i thank you for watching peace